Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a fantastic query. So do watch until the end. I'm sure you will learn thing or two from this video. Okay, before I do that, I just wanted to say thank you for your support. You can see here, it's a good engagement, 42.3% of you have subscribed. So well done, thank you very much. Uh, keep uh, giving this support. And also, I want to mention, can we raise that bar a little bit? And can we reach to 50% from 42% by the end of this month, right? It's not a huge target, right? If you're watching and if you haven't smashed the like button and subscribed it, make sure you do. You know, that's, uh, that, shows the, um, that shows that you value the content. And I, I, actually, it already shows because 42% of you have already subscribed. So thank you so much. Keep up the support. And this support is enough for me to keep on going and share with you what I know. Again, I'm not expert, but I'm sharing what I know. That's it. That's my mantra here for this videos. Okay, now that's enough talking. Let's get back to the video. What exactly I want to demonstrate in this video. So let me show you that. So I've got a query, right? This query is based on the orders table and it shows the regular data that usually exists in orders table. For example, uh, you know, order number, date, sold by or sales executive person, total value of the order, invoice number, month and date and status and all that good, good stuff. What I want is I want to consolidate this data and I want to uh, present it in a grid, you know, something like this, right? In Excel, it's easy to make grid. However, uh, in Access, we can also achieve that. We can actually get the similar grid in Microsoft Access. And for that, we will use cross-tab query. I'm sure some of you, or maybe all of you are aware of cross-tab query, I don't know. Uh, tell me in the comments below if you are already aware of the cross-tab query. Uh, but I think cross-tab query is a fantastic uh, feature uh, which we can use to present the data in the similar grid. So let's get back to Microsoft Access and let's see how we can convert all of this data, consolidate it, and convert it into a presentable format, which we have seen in Excel right here. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, it's similar way that we use to create a select query. So we'll go to create tab and we will, by the way, if you don't know, there are many types of queries, right? So let me go to the designer of the query. And in here, you can see there is a whole lot of options. So the select queries, which is most mostly used by a lot of creators, a lot of developers, uh, in which we simply write the select statement to fetch the data. We can create a new table with a query, believe me or not, right? We can append records. For example, there is already a table. We want to append or add more records into that table. We can use the append query. We have the update query, which means the query which we which we can use to update one of the record or multiple records in that table. And then here we go, we have cross tab query. This is what I'm going to demonstrate today. And then there's a delete query to delete a record as well. So queries, I really like queries because you can fetch the data according to your likings, according to your requirement. You can have two columns from the table that may have 100 columns, right? Although that table will be very messy with 100 columns. But the point is you can fetch the data uh, the way you want and you can present it onto report uh, along with the queries or onto the form. Anyway, so let's make a cross-tab query now and let's present the data that we have got in here. So to do that, I'll go to the Create tab. I'll go to the query wizard. And by the way, I rarely use wizards in Access. So, and this is one of those rare times when I prefer using wizards, especially when you are new to uh, the cross-tab query. I will suggest 
strongly suggest that you use the wizard and that will make your job easier. However, you can use the designer to fetch the data and create a cross step query and get the same results. All right, so we'll select cross step query and we'll click OK. And now we are presented with another screen. In this screen, it is asking which table or query contains the fields you want to use for the cross step query result. Well, we want to get data from the query. Uh, you can also use uh, tables to achieve that, but I prefer to have query. All right, so we have orders queue and I click on next. Then we are presented with some sort of selection criteria. And in here it is asking which fields values do you want as a row heading? So basically, what do you want in a row? So basically it is asking this. So we want employees in a row. All right. So for that, we will actually choose the employee ID. And by the way, we can choose with the wizard, we can choose maximum three. Although when the query is created, we can add as many as we want. So for example, employee ID, we uh, then it will allow us to add the name of the employee. So sold by, and also we can add one more um, and that is year. Okay, now as I said, you see here, it is not allowing to add more fields. All right, so I keep on double clicking. It is not allowing. But as I said, you can, when the query is made, you can go to design mode and you can add anything that you want. All right, now we're done with that. Now we'll move to next. Now it is saying, which fields values do you want as a columns heading? So basically it is asking this. So we know that we are going to choose the months. So for example, I'll choose M, M short form of month, and it will give data in um, in the in the integer form, which will help access to actually sort according to the months. So we'll go to the next, and now it is asking, all right, now I know what rows you want. I know the columns. Now tell me what do you want in the middle of the query, right? It's easy. Now we are looking for the revenue generated by each employee according to each month. So therefore we'll choose net RSP. Now we can choose to have average count, uh, maximum, minimum, uh, standard deviation, sum. We are looking for sums, but you can do a whole lot of things, all right? You click on next and you give a name to this query. So the name would be orders QCT. This is my naming convention, of course you can, Choose your own. Uh, CT stands for cross tab query. So for me, it's always easy to identify. Right, now we have got that. Now let's click on finish and it will present us the query. Here we go. Now, in this query, you can see that we've got the total and we've got January, February, March, April, May, June. And now you must say, you, you can say that, hey, I instead of integer, I want to see uh, the month name. So can we achieve that? Absolutely, yes. So you can go to the design view and instead of here, uh, instead of M, you choose month, all right? Now what will happen, um, you can see here, right? So April, August, so it will not be in the sequence. Although you can do the sorting and you can achieve the sequence uh, in this. And generally speaking, these type of queries are actually used in a report or form. So when you are using them in report or form, you can actually set a sequence or the uh, sorting, not sequence, set the sorting according to your liking. In this case, it's not about liking, it's about having a series of the months from January till December, okay? So now you have a query. Now you can use this query in the forms, in reports, you can get full query onto the report or form. You can get half of the month. It's up to you. It's up to your liking. So for example, if you go to the, if you want to use it in the report, let's say you want to have a printout. So you can create a report. Let's say we create a blank report and then let's save that. Let's close it. Okay. And then you say, all right, uh, you go to property sheet data 
report source and you get the query and you say all right i want the employee id sold by year and then you can have all the months for example january february uh where is march here is march april here we go um you got the idea right may june july so and so forth i'm not going to go through the entire year but the point is this is how you can use this query and present the data onto a particular report as i said this is the beauty of the query so we use the select query to create a cross tab query then we converted that cross tab query into a select query how are that right it's, it's fantastic i really like it and i use it very often whenever i am working on the application all right i think this is fantastic feature by max of access and um, i think we can achieve the result the way we wish to achieve with this type of query so you can see that you can have a printout you can present it you can send it you can do whatever you wish to do so this is how you create a cross tab query and utilize that query onto a report and form i hope that you have learned something i hope this was useful if you have or even if you have not please let me know in the comments below and uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new, new video and remember the challenge by the end of this month we want the 42 percent to be gone up to 50 percent so let's see if we can achieve that i'm sure you can and definitely you will all right thanks very much i'll see you in the next one